Nature as far as the eye can see. This is the south of England, far from cities and towns, and full of animals roaming freely. This is what the area looked like two decades ago. Wheat fields and years of intensive farming. All of this land around here was arable farmed. So it's it, cereals, so wheats and barleys. In 2001, Charlie Burrell was the UK's first farmer to give up his farmland and turn the entire area into an animal reserve and conservation zone. So one of the drivers for doing this was money. And um, we were losing money because of the type of soil we're on, very heavy, wet clay. And we thought, well, what if we just cut the last crop and then see what comes up? With the help of a biologist, he chose to reintroduce forgotten species. These English longhorns, Tamworth pigs, and these white storks. Last year, one of our females actually mated with a wild male, uh, and we had the first chicks in the UK for over 600 years. These species all serve to create a better habitat for insects and birds too, and so far, it's working. As time passed, this area became alive with wildlife. The pig opens up the ground, the sallow seed falls down in May, uh, in these open patches, and sallow is the food plant of the purple emperor butterfly. And the pig then produces the habitat for the butterfly, and that's why we got the biggest population of butterflies. This new ecosystem has also attracted lots of visitors. Has she been moving a lot? Not a lot, no. no. It's still, maybe once a week in the last uh, couple of months. Um, so yeah, fairly regularly. And here comes the sallow. Just. Thanks to ecotourism and the sale of meat, Knep Wildland is now profitable. The project has encouraged others to undertake similar endeavors, like here in Scotland. For 800 years, there were sheep grazing in these fields. That era is now over. A part of the area has become a breeding ground for beavers. The castors have come here and have constructed barrages. In order to finance the project, the couple built cabins that are almost as simple and rustic as the surrounding environment. This is one of our holiday lets, and it's called the hideaway. The beavers made the bed. The bed is made out of beaver cut wood. It'll cost you 100 euros a night to enjoy the silence and this unique view. All these extraordinary little canals and pools and actually dead trees. And the dead trees are very beautiful, but also very important for biodiversity. The beavers were just the first step. More species will be reintroduced here very soon. Scotland is actually one of the worst parts of Britain where our biodiversity is so hammered by human land use that some of our most, what used to be really common species are now on the brink of extinction. And so we really, it's an emergency. We really need to do something serious. And so this is why we're doing this. Studies suggest making areas wild again can have beneficial effects on the entire ecosystem and could even have a positive effect on climate change. <laughs>